So one of the most popular questions I'm always asked is with my LinkedIn account, should I upgrade my subscription to a premium account? Now, I think, well, you know, LinkedIn has 420 million people on it. And for the sake of around, it's about $80 a month at the moment. So if I was upgrading, that's what I would have to pay. And for access to that amount of people, is that worth it? And the short answer is, I think that's a pretty good investment. However, it's not for everybody. So there are a few things that I would consider before you even do that. Because I think one of the things that we find is that sometimes we think we're gonna pay for a premium service and everything's just going to come to us and it doesn't. So clients don't magically appear just because you're paying $80 a month. You still need to do some work. But there are, you know, there are a whole bunch of features that you get, but there are a few that I think that are probably helpful if you're thinking about doing that. Number one is the analytics that you get are slightly different. So you get a little bit more insight into your profile about how visible you are, about how much people are connecting with your content, where you rank in some of your profiles, uh, sorry, in some of your connections and does your profile rank towards the top. However, that's not always the measure of success. You actually still need to reach out and connect with people and make sure your profile really connects and pops. So you can have all the analytics, but if your profile doesn't work, then uh, that's not going to help. The other thing that I would say is that you might notice on LinkedIn, you have that area that says, uh, people, who are the people who have viewed me? Now, this is the most popular or the most clicked on area on LinkedIn. And so we all want to know who stalked us. <laughs> so one of the uh, things that you get with a premium account is instead of just seeing the last few, which is on the premium account, you can go back two weeks to see who stalked you. <laughs> uh, then one of the other areas that you get with a premium account is that you have access to more people for free. So your third level connections, you can connect with those people without having to use what are called in-mails. So you can just send a standard connection request and they're free, uh, but you have to pay for the upgraded account. If you don't do that, then you have to use what are called in-mails and in a uh, premium account, you get nine of those per month. In a standard account, uh, you get three, I think. So one of the things that you do is you get access to more of those. Uh, those in-mails go directly into the person's inbox. So if they're in Outlook or Gmail or whatever it might be, that goes directly into that inbox as opposed to just sitting in LinkedIn. So if you wanna find out more about the upgrade with upgrading your account, is it worth it for you? Uh, what are all the features? You're welcome to jump on my LinkedIn page and have a look at the blog I've written on it. And I look forward to hearing if it's been useful for you.